All right, here we have the Quilter Interbase. It's a micro base amp and a console interface. And I'm also going to use it for one other application, which I'll tell you about later. So here's the owner's manual. It gives you a little description of how things work and some problem shooting if you need to. And here's what's in the box. We've got a nice thick power cord. And here's the power source to run this bad boy. So let's take a look and see what this does. We've got uh, master and gain, and then we've got three EQ knobs. We got one at 100, one at 300, 1K. 1K is really helpful for me to get a good point, a good beginning of my note. Otherwise, notes kind of would all kind of mash together. The 100 and 300, to me, are kind of the sweet spots for uh, the bass. Now, I play electric and upright bass. So 300 is the sweet spot, but it's also a trouble spot for feedback on an upright, somewhere around somewhere around that ballpark, 250, 300. So a lot of times I will either bring this up to right before feedback or back it, back it off a little bit. And I actually usually back it off a little more just to get uh, you know, a little more of a thuddier tone. Uh, and like I said, this is a amp a micro amp so we have a speaker outlet and then we have a convenient little chart down there shows you four ohms will give you 45 watts eight ohms will give you 33 16 will give you 17. now i've got a gig this friday in a small club my normal rig is a quilter b800 and i've got two quilter cabs a 210 and a 112 and they're very efficient I can get really loud if I need to, surprisingly loud. Uh, but on Friday night, I have to be quiet, but I still want a nice full tone. I'm gonna to be playing mostly my upright. So I'm gonna use this on Friday night and see how it goes. I'll use this with my 112. I think that'll give me an eight ohms. And so I think 33 watts will be able to cover that room. Now, uh, the other application for this is an interface for a console. So there's a balance line out here. But also you see there's a switch so you can put it a headphone if you're going to use it for practicing. we got an effects loop. A lot of times uh, on stages I'll put my e, uh, my um, tuner in there. Uh, and then we have two other switches here. This one over here is uh, has both kind of a modern sound and then vintage sound uh, that it's voiced for. And, and then we have an active and passive right there. Now I... I'm a Fender guy, so I'm pretty much passive all the time. And then I'm more of a Roots 145 guy, so the vintage is probably going to work for me. Um, a lot of times when I'm in the studio, I will... Well, these days, a lot of times in the studio, they want me to go directly into the board. And it works okay with the electric, but on the upright, I would prefer having... I've always used a preamp. That way I can give them a nice strong signal and then I can EQ it so it makes it sound the way an upright bass should sound like and eliminating some of that woofy stuff. Uh, so it makes it easier for them to do what they need to do to get what they want to get uh, from the bass. Uh, now the other application I talked about, I'm going to try to use this as a preamp. When I'm doing double duty with both the upright and the electric, I need to get the upright up to the same level as the electric. The electric has a nice strong signal, but the upright, because it has a piezo pickup like most um, upright bass amps are, uh, it's a low output. So I need to match the electric with the upright. And so the preamp, having something like this, would be able to push the signal up to a level that'll match the electric bass. And uh, and then also I can also EQ this, EQ the upright differently than the electric. So I have uh, two different sections. So it just really helps to have, uh, I'm gonna try that on Saturday. I have a gig in a, a large room on Saturday night and I'll bring my full cabs, both my cabs, and I will bring my BB800. And then I'm gonna use this as a preamp. So this week I'll be doing the uh, Friday small gig. This will be a bass amp. 
Saturday it's going to be a preamp. And then next week I got to work on a re session. So I'll be, I have a little home studio with the focus right and I go into Pro Tools. So I'll use this as a nice little interface uh, for that. And I will let you know how it goes. I'll post another video telling you how it worked out on those three areas.